Right off the top tonight at 6 o'clock, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has added underwater devices on the lake bed of Holland State Park to better understand rip currents. We have team coverage tonight. Matt Kirkwood will be taking a look at what could be another as dangerous evening out on Lake Michigan. But we start with News 8's Megan Bunchman, who is live at Holland State Park with more on that project. Megan? Good evening, Sue and Michelle. Well, behind me and along the north side of the Holland Breakwater right now are two underwater acoustic devices that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers installed later last month. As drownings and water rescues continue to be a growing concern, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has taken valuable steps in studying the cause or causes of rip currents at Holland State Park. We are installing acoustic instruments and cameras so that we can uh, measure the waves and the currents in the lake. Two underwater acoustic devices and an additional breakwater camera will collect data over the next couple of months. Liz Wilkinson says that the Corps hopes to use that information to create an algorithm that will help them predict when and where there's going to be hazardous swimming conditions. The area that is really concerning uh, is the point at which uh, the North Pier uh, comes into contact with the beach. Park Township Manager Howard Fink says that the State Beach, Park Township Rescue, and Ottawa County Sheriff's Marine Unit have all raised concerns about this specific area. As you can see, the swimming buoy line stops about 25 yards off the breakwater. An aerial look shows that there is a pseudo hook where the beach meets the north side structure. It is unique to Holland. Other piers and breakwaters along the lakeshore don't seem to have the same issue. This study will help determine whether the design in Holland contributes to rip currents. There's some real safety concerns in that area because that's where the rip currents can form and often do form when the waves hit the structure that is the pier uh, and then they bounce back and create a rip current taking people out. And we don't know whether um, the structure at this location is amplifying the rip currents. Uh, or if it's uh, some other factors. And so that is something that w once we have the data that we will be able to um, potentially take a closer look at. In Holland State Park, Megan Bunchman, News 8.